hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's another day another video and today we're making a no oven velvet red velvet cake and as you can see it turned out to be a very moist very yummy cake right here and yeah so i made two types of the cake i made the one with no oven and the one in the oven just for control reasons to see the difference of the two and yeah so sit back and enjoy the recipe especially now that we're headed towards valentine's day this is a very easy less recipe that you can make at home for you and your loved ones so let's get started so the recipe calls for buttermilk and if you're like me you don't have buttermilk in your fridge or <laughs> in your pantry so we're going to make one from whole milk so what you can do is you can take a cup full of whole milk i took a, a, a cup and a half and you add to it two tablespoonfuls of lemon juice or you can add vinegar buttermilk basically is a more acidic kind of milk so once you add the vinegar to it you're supposed to microwave it for like 30 to 45 seconds and then leave it to rest for 10 minutes which is why i'm doing it as the first thing on this recipe so that as it sits for 10 minutes i will be mixing the other ingredients yeah so it will cuddle up and it will become a sort of a cuddly milk with some cuddle cards in it yeah but that is what you're looking for so i added my vinegar i didn't use lemon juice but you can use lemon juice if you don't have vinegar in your house and then microwaved it for 30 seconds and put it aside for 10 minutes your dry ingredients this is where you prep your dry ingredients and you need a cup two cups of all-purpose flour for those who ask you don't have a specific cake flour you just use the all-purpose flour and you're putting it in a sieve so that you can sieve it you can sieve all the dry ingredients to remove any lumps and then you need a quarter cup of cocoa powder and a pinch of salt the the recipe also calls for baking powder a tablespoonful of baking powder that is the big spoon if you don't have measuring cups or measuring spoons so the big spoonful is the one for baking powder then you need bicarbonate of soda which is also known as baking soda you use the smaller spoon which is known as the tea spoon okay so that is the difference don't confuse the two otherwise you'll mess up your recipe okay so after that you're just going to sieve all the dry ingredients into a bowl and yeah i was having a hard time because my bowl was smaller than the sieve if possible use a flat surface to avoid spillage of the flour but eventually i did it and these are the lumps that were in my dry ingredients those are really huge ones so yeah if you have a finer sieve use a finer sieve to make sure not even a small lump goes into the flour finally you will mix in your wet ingredients and for your wet ingredients you need three eggs three whole eggs and then a cup full of sugar i don't like this sugar it was brown sugar if you have white sugar please use white sugar if you have caster sugar the better i only had brown sugar in the house and that is why that explains the brown freckles that are in the mixture so that is not that that is just the nature of the brown sugar and mix this well until it is puffed up and fluffy before you add our cup full of oil the same cup you use to measure your sugar you measure you measure your oil in notice that in this cake we have not used butter or margarine for the recipe we have only used oil which is what the recipe calls for okay so whisk this properly until it's also fluffy and it has a texture like a uh, buttery texture then remember our buttermilk yeah 10 minutes are done and the buttermilk is now ready so it's time to add it to our wet mixture as well and this one now you will add interchangeably with the dry ingredients so you put half of the milk then half of the flour then half of the milk like the other half of the milk and the other half of the flour just like you do in oil cakes and at this point we're going to change from using a whisk to using a what do you call it a wooden spoon 
if you have a plastic one it's okay if you have a silicone one the better but don't use your whisk from here on because you just want to fold in your flower so that is what i did So while making my wet ingredients, I kind of forgot to add my vanilla essence, so I added it at this point, don't mind, <laughs> you are doing it as a family, so then at this point you add your red food coloring, you can notice the butter was chocolatey in the beginning, so at this point you add your red color, be very careful not to add too much of it, because you don't want to end up with a maroon cake, and don't add too little of it, because you don't want to end up with a pink cake, so you have to be very precise about the amount that you add so that you end up with a red cake i might have added too much at some point because i ended up with a much darker shade of red but that's okay that's okay because it doesn't have a taste or anything so that's our final butter i wanted to cook it in two parts because i told you i wanted to test the oven version and the non-oven version so this is me prepping the sufuria to use because i don't have baking trays of this size and yeah i wanted round a round cake so you butter your sufuria using margarine then add some flour to it just to make sure that the cake does not stick to the sufuria as it cooks and i did that to both of the sufurias and then added the cake in half i divided the cake into two equal halves and put them into the sufuria so yeah So at this point my oven had already preheated for about 10 minutes at 175 degrees celsius so i put my cake and set the timer to 40 minutes and but i will check it at 35 minutes to see if it was ready then now on to the non-oven cake so you take your sufuria then you place your lid like that a normal sufuria lid and then you place your cake inside on top of that lid then you take your sufuria lid you're gonna fingerprint <laughs> yeah and then you cover like that and then you put on your heat like that so if you're using meko if you're using jiko we have a kwa moto evo and then you give it 45 minutes 40 to 45 minutes but you check before niwa good job Yeah. Okay, so let's check. And it's done, guys. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Our cake is ready. Ready. So let's check the oven one now. So one done. So I need gloves. I really need gloves. Anyway. So this is our oven cake. Let's see. Uh yeah, so that's how it turned out. And 
it's us already. It's us already. It's us already. Ah, perfect. Oh, those are both of the cakes. Guess which one? Guess guess which one is from the oven and which one is from the sufferia, which is not oven and the oven wine. Yeah, so let me answer that. I hope you have commented. I hope I've given you let me give you five seconds to comment. Okay, so this is the oven cake and this is the non big one. So let's go make the cream for them. That's where you come in with your whipped cream. And we're going to use about a cup full. A cup full is like half. Because you're supposed to use two. This is 400 ml. You're supposed to use 240. So I'm thinking it's almost half. Yeah. I think that's enough. And then. About a tablespoon or two of sugar. Or depending on how you. Uh, uh, don't use it again, baby. Because yours is enough. Yes. Yeah. And then you whisk. If you have a whisk in the house, good for you. If you are using a hand mixer like me, get to work. Get to work because it takes a while. Well, that's good um, exercise. <laughs> so this is how it's signing out. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm going to go down now. Oh,